Okay. All right, so you're the tennis player down in uh, Florida, right? Yep. Okay. Enlighten me. What do you What do you want to do? So pretty much uh, originally I wanted to go seal route. I've been in it for a few years thinking about it, reading the books, and um, I'm a big follower of, like, you know, Jocko Willink, David Goggins, and I've been having that mindset I want to go that route. And I just – every day I – check videos out on YouTube and came across you and uh, now just looking at alternate routes within Army Ranger going that route just because the whole wait period right now and I, I totally understand that so um, just kind of wanted to I, I have some questions but uh, just kind of wanted to pick your brain a bit a little about some things because you've been through it all. Are you the dude that has a roofing had the roofing job? Yeah. Okay. So you because because te tennis players terrify me right? <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, soft as babies' butts, but that's okay. Yeah. If you done hard roofing and stuff like that, tar pitch roof, you know, you know how to work hard. So, okay, what's your yeah. questions, bud? So, I also, uh, my dad owns a landscaping company, and last summer, 2020, yep. I I was doing that, and that's pretty hard, gritty work. That Picking sucks. Up. Yeah, no, it's not fun being soaking wet all day, but um, I, it definitely builds character, and I think that's really important. Um, I was watching some of your videos and you talk about how when you were in college, you would sleep like sometimes 12 hours a day. That's one reason why you recovered so much. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm big on like Jocko and David and I'm big on starting the day early. So okay. I'm up around like 4.45. Yeah. Uh, I got a pretty busy schedule with tennis, school, part-time job. Yeah. So I usually try to wake up early, you know get a work at my first run. I try to get that in the morning. Um, then I'll eat breakfast. Uh, I'm kind of big. I know it might sound a little soft, but I like to see the sunrise in the morning. Okay. Um, I live in South Florida. And then I'll either read or I have school classes, tennis. I hit pool. So I've been doing like one swim a day. I'm not okay. really, I was kind of doing my own thing. Yeah. And then, depending on that get home, home. I emailed you the PDF, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. So I had some questions about that as well, but, uh, I'm sleeping. I get to bed around nine 30. I'm up at four 30. So how many hours done, a day is that? Seven. Seven. Yeah. How many do you need as a, a lead? To, what, where are you going to school at? I go to Lynn university. Lynn. To be honest, it's a small private school. It's if you want to know about soft, there's a lot of soft kids here. So hang on, it's, man. Uh, hey, go ahead. So, so, um, so understand like the hours is the deal, right? Mm -hmm. Like you gotta, but like, I, I don't, I mean, you at Lynn, like if tennis ain't that important to you, but you got to sleep more than seven hours a day, mm -hmm. you got to sleep nine and at a minimum, you got to sleep nine hours a day. And if you like to get up early, that just means you go to bed early. Okay. So, like I said, I'm on the tennis team. It's, I mean, this year it's with COVID and everything, it's very shortened. But also it's just like there's a lot of foreign guys and it's it's Division Two, so it's not like Division One at all. A lot of yeah. guys aren't working hard. And I've always prided myself on being a hard worker, you yeah. know, and my dad, my parents taught me that. And I, I, I pretty much going into a long story, I sacrificed a lot of my life as a kid, you know, Go ahead. For tennis, to become the best tennis player I could be. I yeah. homeschooled at, at a young age and pretty much took a pretty difficult route to try to be the best I can be. Are you big? And, uh, How tall are you? 6'1", and I'm about like 175. Okay. So, so like tennis mean. is like, how much longer, when you graduate? May. So May, so screw tennis. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious, bro. Like, like my dude is in the SEAL teams right now. Mm -hmm. He didn't play baseball the last half of the season. He just started training to go see us because that's what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And this is so, where I kind of been at. Sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Like I have been wanting to, I guess, quit and focus more on this and get ready for what's to come. But a part of me also feels like I shouldn't quit because one of the whole things about, you know, buds and everything is not quitting. But yeah, yeah. I don't I know mean, if this is holding me back. My dude was a captain of the baseball team. He didn't quit. He still did everything. He just wasn't worried about baseball as much, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, for you, you're at Lynn, man. Like, I'm not 
You they're not paying for school, are they? You on scholarship? Not this semester, no. So then I wouldn't worry about it. Like, like I would just go do how many more matches you got? I think five. Bang out five matches and be done with it. Close the door. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a gun. He got a machine gun. Close the door. Close the door. I'm going to shoot you. Dang, man. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So my point is, like, just wrap up them five matches and then start training like a savage. Mm -hmm. What are you running right now? So, pretty, are you the one that like, sent me that awesome run chart? Yeah. Okay, so so do this for me. Don't record the warm up or the or the cool down. Cool down. Okay. Because I didn't want to sit here and add it all up. Like I guess I could add it up, but I don't. You ain't. You're not at three miles right now. Probably not with the warm up and cool down. Yeah, because your your warm up was like three or point four or something like that. Um, um, I liked how you had it done. Is that your GPS watch? Yes. How's it work? You just put so in I, what the workout is, and then it records so it? I, I went on Garmin, and I created my own workout, and then I just hit start and stop. So You hit start and stop after every one, or does it no, beep? It, it beeps. Oh, it that's counts awesome, down. bro. Okay, yeah. you're going to have to – we're going to have to talk about that. So you got a Garmin watch, and it has a function on there, and you set up the workout, the time tree, and it just yep. beeps and, and beep and, like, records Five. all your distances. Yeah, because be like five, four, three, two, one, go. And then when it's the last five seconds, you'll hear those five, four, three, two, one beeps. Okay, so like you got uh, – <clears throat> so you got a mile. So you're at 2.5 miles. You got a lot of work to do, man. Okay. But what I would tell you is like you're not doing a lot of running. You're playing tennis right now, right? You do much – how much running – how many miles a week are you running? Probably about 38. So if you're running 38 miles and this is how bad your time tree is, you're doing something massively wrong right now. Okay. Are you eating pasta every day? Not No. So then that's what you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. You need to pound the pasta a day. You're running 38 miles a week, you need to pound the pasta a day. That's okay. why your times aren't where they are. Like you, Like there's no way you should be running 38 miles a week and your times are just slow. Mm-hmm. Okay. And when I look I, at your splits, like your first one minute runs at a 512 pace, mm -hmm. so like you shouldn't see any of these runs. Really, they should all be around six minutes. Yeah. And I would say I, this, like your one minute sprint is probably going to be, you know, 445, somewhere in there. It's just slow. Mm -hmm. But that's because you don't I, have the energy and you ain't sleep. I feel like also one of the things is for the recovery, I'm very slow on the recovery. I'm kind of – it's almost like a walk. Well, it well, not a walk, be, but it – should, It should be a jog. Mm -hmm. But that's my point, though. You're not running fast enough. You, you got 38 – you got 38 miles a week. You ain't running fast enough, bro. Yeah, I understand that. So you're not eating no pasta. You can't refuel your body. You're not sleeping. You ain't got no recovery. Mm -hmm. You're Hispanic. Are you Hispanic? So my mother is and my father is American. Okay, so like I'll just tell you, you got half Hispanic blood. So maybe you got your mom, or your dad's crappy American genes and you ain't got no lungs. But mm -hmm. if you're running 38 miles a week and you're running this slow, something's wrong. Okay. You're not eating pasta. You're not sleeping. Like, like you should be a lot faster than this. And what's your, what's your mile and a half, what I see in here? So my mile and a half, the last time I did it was last month, was like nine minutes, four seconds. 9.04? Yes, and I honestly feel I can probably go a little faster. You should be able to go a lot. So something's wrong with your time tree, man. Let me see. If you're running nine minute, uh, if, one, one, if two, you three, look at my, three, three, I put three. cool down. I don't know which one you're looking at. No, but, no, no, you're okay. So here's what I'm gonna tell you. Uh, that's the problem. Okay, so so like when you get to three minute sprint. Mm -hmm. You're doing half mile, but then when you come to the recovery, you're doing a fourth of a mile, a little less than a fourth of a mile. So that should be like, it shouldn't be half the distance. It should be close, you know, like maybe 80% of the distance, 70% okay. of the distance. But like, we're not walking during that time. So 
So like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so like you see how over here on the right side, your average pace is 13 minutes? Yeah. That ain't good. Like it needs to yeah. be like eight minutes or nine minutes. You're still jogging. You ain't walking. It ain't a walk. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, so you, you, you're you not running. So you only run in the sprints. That'd be like just running the sprints. So mm -hmm. you need, like, you got to run, brother. Like, like you're not ever, you're not ever going to be fully recovered from the last one. You just got to jog. And I would say probably eight, nine minutes is what you need to do. Okay, I'll keep an eye on that. Okay. And then add the pasta. Okay, what else you got? Um, so pretty much the whole, like I said, I wanted to go SEALs, but after watching your videos, I was, before I was, your videos, I was also thinking like Marines and the whole what, Marsoc. What's your GPA? Right now it's a 3.7. Perfect. Go in the Army. Okay. Have you ever thought about flying airplanes? Um, I thought about it, but one of my friends who flies said I might be a little too big. He said they're usually a little smaller. Boo. I got a 6'6 six, six pilot. Are you 6'6? Six, six? No, sir. Okay. Why don't you look at being a pilot? In the Army or? In the Navy. Okay. Super Gucci, man. Yeah, go look at being a pilot. And then, you know, you got, you got, I mean, the fastest way to do it would be go to Army officer, okay? You probably, it'll take you a while to get to flight school, to kind of the same as SEAL training, but that's a far better job. And you're really smart, so it'll translate. You got to go to school and learn a lot, okay? Okay. All right, what else you got? Um, so for the swimming routes, uh, the routine, I, again, I was going to set up a whole cycle for my watch. Okay. Um, let me pull it up. So I would be doing like 100 meters. Hang on. Take a, hey! Okay. Do 100 meters, take like a 30 minute, just kind of cool down or just. Did you look at the PDF? I skimmed it. Like I said, I've been. Okay, so look at the PDF, the whole swim workout's on there. It's foolproof. Okay. okay. Foolproof. But, like, if you decide gotcha. to go Army, you only got to do one swim a day. You only got to swim 10 100s a day. If you if you decide to go Navy Air, you got to swim 10 100s a day. All the physical stuff's not as important. You got to study for the ASTB, the Aviation Battery Test. Okay. You got to get the minimum, maximum, which is something. I don't know what it is. And then you'll get picked up to go fly. And then if I – for two times a day, how would that be? What? Like if I were to do two swims a day. It's in the it's PDF. On the you haven't looked at the PDF. I should blow your head off, but I know you told me you hadn't looked at the PDF yet. Yeah, I apologize All in the PDF. That. Brother, you don't have to figure anything out. Mm -hmm. Like um, literally, if you do what's on a PDF, you are going to get fast. Then for the, so like I was saying also for the, my five mile runs, I was like a month ago, I was doing them at around an eight minute per mile pace. And it, like, it wasn't, it wasn't like I was going all out. I was in the orange zone. So it was a decent test. But now after doing those time trees, I've drastically dropped and I'm doing them at a, like a 730 to 740 minute per mile pace. And I'm in the green zone. So I, I'm not even going all, so all the way. So you need to pick it up a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Because uh, sure. I would tell you this, like, the mile marker there is, can you, I'm just putting some notes on my phone right now on you. Mm -hmm. Can you get a 35-minute five-mile? That's kind of the, like, if you can get 35-minute five-mile in the orange, you're killing it. So I think, like, just talking to you mm -hmm. right now, my, be my best guess for you would be Navy Air. And then if you really want to go get grimy and enjoy being, you know, working landscaping and roofing, then you go in the Army as an officer. Mm -hmm. um, like being a SEAL, I just think right now it's just the backup's too long, man. I ain't, I ain't messing with that. Is it also just like COVID that's 
one of the reasons they're not sending as many guys? No, they're sending as many guys. They just have 150% backlog. Like, there's just 150% qualified people. So they become real, like, real tight on the requirements to get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you were graduating then, in May of 21. Yes. Okay. 3.7 GPA. Okay. What other questions you got, bud? Um, well, you, I, I watched in some videos you talked about shooting, like shooting those the BB gun in the backyard. For have, the you, iron have you spent much time shooting? Yeah, I'm into that stuff, so. Okay, so don't worry about it. Okay. Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm, thank you for your time. And, um, I'm going to keep going at it and getting stronger. I, I mean, so tell me, do this, call me, call me. It's uh Tuesday. Call me on Sunday and tell me how eating pasta went. You okay. Should eat two, you should eat two cups of pasta after every workout. Okay. How's um, the day? I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you run three times as fast as you running right now. Like, I guarantee you drop a minute off of all your stuff in the next week and a half. So, like I said, I usually do a morning, one run in the morning. So then after, I'll, I eat a pretty big breakfast, like seven eggs. Okay, so what do you eat for breakfast? Seven eggs, three pieces. Okay. Of what the fuck did I just tell you? Pound of pasta. Okay. I don't give a fuck about your seven eggs, your fucking yogurt, your oatmeal. Don't give a fuck about none of that. None of that shit helps you run fast. Gotcha. I don't care if you can eat it also. I don't care if you eat it also, but you got to have the pasta in there to help you run fast. Gotcha. Okay. And I don't give a shit if it's breakfast. I don't care. Like, I want to run fast. I'm going to eat pasta for breakfast. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Gotcha. Okay. You can eat whatever you want, but you got to eat the pasta to go fast. And I guarantee you, when you call me on Sunday, you can be like, oh shit, like, yeah, I'm fucking running a lot faster. Because you've been doing the work right now, but you, it's not reflective in your time. And so, the, did you watch the Brett video? Did you watch I those videos? Not. I did not. Um, look up. I, I don't think I put his name on the videos. If you look up Guy Eats Pasta, hang on, I'll, I'll figure it out right now. You too. Uh, my video. Pasta, pasta, okay? Damn. Dude, I hate this when I can't sort, when I can't find my videos. But I can, how do I search on YouTube for my videos? Uh, I can try right now. So go on my videos and, and, and see if you can search for pasta. Because I know pasta's in the, in the title. One pound of pasta testimonial, fire yes. it all work. Yep. Yes. Gotcha. Watch that video right there. Okay. Because that's a dude right there that was killing himself for four months. Okay. And didn't have any gains in four months. And he started eating a pound of pasta and overnight he turned into Superman. And gotcha. he was eating oatmeal and eggs and all that good food. And then he started eating pasta and he turned into Superman overnight. Okay. I know a lot of people are, are super uh, down on me for a pound of pasta. Look, I only talk about shit that works, man. And I done made a shit ton of really fast people on a pound of pasta. So if I knew something else that would work, I would tell you. I know the Kenyans run on corn cornmeal. I don't know. I tried cornmeal. I didn't run very fast on it. I ate pasta. I ran really fast. Okay? Gotcha. What else, bud? Um, you hit a lot. Like I said, I've been thinking. I mean, originally seals I wanted to do, but after watching your videos, I've been thinking about, like I said, the whole other routes. Um, I don't know if this would make sense. Would it make sense to go army, and then after try to go navy seal, or just stick in one branch? Like you're gonna be an officer, right? So like you're going yeah. to army. Like, by the time it'd be time for you to transfer, you could go to Ranger Battalion. You could go to Green Berets. It's the same job. And uh, I'm not too knowledgeable. I'm going to look into the pilot in the Navy. How would that be as an officer pilot? Awesome. You're going to make a shit ton of money. 
fly planes around for nine years and then get out and go make 300,000 for the rest of your life working a part-time job flying flying uh, school buses around. And is there a name of that, what they fly or just start doing research on Navy pilot? Airplanes, they fly airplanes. Okay. Or helicopters. They okay. fly shit that flies. They don't fly submarines. They don't fly ships. They fly fucking planes. Right? Gotcha. Yep. Okay. But yeah, like, dude, don't worry about none of that. Just figure out the ASTV. See, watch some videos. Go watch Top Gun. See if you like the idea of flying. If you like the idea of flying, I would tell you, go get a flam flight. It'll cost you like 150 bucks. You got a ton of aviation schools right there around you. Go do a fam flight. See if you like it. If you think it's cool, start studying, bang out the test. And, you know, you probably go to basic or you go to OCS somewhere in, in late summer to, to early spring. I'm sorry, late summer to early fall. And like you said, that's not as physical. It's more book work. Yeah, yeah. It's using your head. You got to study a lot, man. A lot of learning. Gotcha. But it's the, I think it's one of the best jobs that you can do in the military because as soon as you come out, you're making $300,000 a year for the rest of your life, man. You're on chill street. Cool. Well, I'm, I have all those notes. Thank you for your time. Um, I'll email you for the times on Sunday. So I'm going to get yeah. on that pasta. Yeah, yeah. I, you're going to email me and then we'll have a testimonial from you. How you okay. killed yourself without no pasta, and then all of a sudden you add a pasta, and you turn into Superman and shit. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you again for your time. All right, Diego. Um, do your thing, bud. Thank you.